Hello my friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I am in a place not too familiar or maybe it is familiar if you've been around for like a year or so. If so, thank you so much uh, for sticking around, but I am back at the Getaway Cabins and the one that I am at is in upstate New York. So if you've never heard of the Getaway Cabins, it's basically tiny cabins in the middle of the woods. They have outposts. Uh, it's not actually in the middle of the woods, but yeah, they're just tiny cabins that you can book a weekend or so or however long you want and you get to get away and stay in a tiny cabin in the woods and disconnect. Usually there's no service here. Um, I do not have any internet service at all and it's just a great way to get in touch with nature, disconnect, get away from work, whatever it may be. And I love these cabins so, so much. I hype it up all the time and I've never been sponsored by them. I've booked five or six trips now with Getaway and I've always paid for it with my own money because I love it so much here, especially this time of year. I mentioned this in the previous vlog, but during the uh, fall and winter time here in, in Catskills, New York, it is the best. It is the best time to visit and it's their, you know, their peak season. A lot of people come here to experience what it's like to be in just that perfect fall aesthetic. So anyway, it is actually Saturday. No, today's Sunday. <laughs> it is Sunday. We got here yesterday on Saturday, but we got here kind of late. It was really dark and we were really tired from like driving over here and all of the good stuff. So that's why I didn't record until this morning. Just to catch you up when we came in yesterday, we got here around four o'clock, check-ins like three, but we stopped in a neighboring town to get lunch and we got it at a place called Red Dot Vegetarian Kitchen, I believe is what it's called. We got some vegan food, some fantastic vegan food. We also visited some sort of like emporium, which was essentially like Christmas town <laughs> in a small shop where it was actually really large. Uh, I'll put some clips up on the screen so you can see what that was like. It was super fun. We picked up some local jalapeno peach jelly. I got some gifts for friends and uh, yeah, it was a good time in that town. We came back to the cabin and you know, we hung out for a little bit. We read, oh my gosh, Ian just scared me. <laughs> what was I saying? We uh, hung out just for a little bit. We weren't able to light a fire, which we usually do whenever we get to the cabins because it was raining and snowing. It was snowing so much over here. So much so that we could barely see when we were driving into the to the cabin area. But yeah, we couldn't light a fire because of that. So we stayed in, we read some. Ian was reading out loud to me. After we read, we started preparing dinner, which I can probably put up on the screen for you right now. I am also doing a what I eat in a day in the cabin in the woods on my other YouTube channel, The Conscious Root. So stay tuned for that. We had a lot of conversation. We played lots of games. We usually play a lot of card games when we're here, which is a lot of fun. We get very uh, competitive, but in a good way. And then we just had some drinks and we stayed up for as long as we could possibly stay it up. Uh, it was an exhausting day and then we went to sleep. So that was pretty much yesterday. And so today it is now morning. We've already had our breakfast and, you know, got dressed and everything as you can see. And uh, we are going to be heading out. First, what we're going to do is head to a nature walk because we can't do any hiking. Unfortunately, I really wanted to do some hiking, but the floor is still super soaked in this area. And then we'll head to Woodstock and I'll take you along throughout this entire thing. So I'll leave you at that. But before we head out to the nature walk, let me give you a really quick tour. It's going to be quick because it's a tiny cabin. So let me show you what it looks like. So I'll show you outside in just a bit. Let me show you inside first. That's my jacket, my gigantic jacket. That is the front door and right at the front we have our lantern charging so that we can use outside and then this is the main area. This is pretty much it. As you can see over here we have a table for just like lounging, hanging out, doing things. This is actually bigger than what the usual rooms are, the, the table at least, because this is a two bedroom which I'll show you in a second. This little thing over here you can sit on that and underneath it you can store stuff, which is exactly what we've done. And yeah, that's just the seating area. Over on this side, we have the bathroom. It's nothing special. It's just a bathroom, toilet, um, all that good stuff. This is the shower, which has totally upgraded from when they first did these bathrooms, but that's the bathroom. Over to the side, this is my personal favorite area, the kitchen. Um, and it's got a lot of stuff as you can see down over there. That is the heat. That is a little mini fridge. I'll give you a tiny look into what that looks like. 
very tidy. And over here is where the garbage is. This is the sink. You use the sink for like brushing your teeth, washing dishes, all the things. And then we have like an electric stove top over here. All of our kitchen necessities over here and up top. Honestly, it's exactly what you need and nothing more. So it's fantastic. Over here, I will say there's like creamer, oils, salt, pepper, sugar, stuff like that. Uh, there's a phone in case you need an emergency phone, thermometer for the heat. And then up here we have a radio. We use this quite often actually. We just use an auxiliary cord and then we plug in our iPod. We listen to music. And then there are some books. Those are provided by Getaway. Over here is some storage. We just use that for more cooking things. And then up top, we just stored a bunch of other stuff. Storage is very, very like limited, of course, because it's tiny. So you just make use for any area that you can possibly find, which is totally fine with me. And then, of course, everyone's most beloved scene, the infamous window. I will say I am a little disappointed that the window is cut off by the second bed. Usually I'm used to the whole window being seen in this angle, but um, it's fine. Still pretty cool. I've never been in the two bedroom one before, but this is the main bed. And as you can see from over there, it's kind of like a seating area over there, which is really cool. There are some lights so that you can read at night or whatever at night. Another window. And this is the staircase to go up. Obviously, it's pretty, pretty short for, for someone like Ian, but I can go up, so let me show you. All right, this is what it looks like super cool we took all the pillows off from up here and we brought them down there because ian can't fit up here but it's super cool it's such a cool space like they make really good use of the space and that is pretty much it for the cabin like i said very simple i'll show you what the outside looks like now all right this is the view from outside here it is we are at gladys super cute it's a car over there then we have a little picnic table which is kind of what right now, hoping it dries by later. Outdoor trash. This is where the firewood's gonna be. And then over here, we just got a bunch of seating. Extra seating, because it's a two bedroom. Um, and then the fire pit, which we cannot wait to use. Hopefully we are able to use it. If you're hearing noise from the distance, there is a lot of water, not too far from here. Freaks me out, but anyway. <laughs> over here, there's just a lot of run, run water. Is that what it's called? From the rain and snow. And that's the window. That's the window from outside. Gotta love it. And then, of course, nothing but trees. You can also see our neighbors, but nothing but trees. We love it. All right, I am going to walk over to Ian now. So this is voiceover Sarah coming in to say hey. Um, I figured a voiceover would be best here. So this is basically the scene just a few blocks away from the getaway cabins. That was the water that you were hearing in the previous clip. And it took us a good 30 minutes just to get out of this area in order to find a nature walk. And we ended up not walking at all. The place that we ended up in, which is in this clip right here, is actually all private property, which is like really new to me. I, I didn't know that. So we just got to drive through it. Um, but it was totally fine. I still enjoyed the scene a lot and the whole entire drive Ian and I just had great conversation So after we had our nature drive we ended up in Woodstock and I go to this Bookstore quite often the golden notebook. It's really cute And then I also go to garden cafe every single time I visit Woodstock I have to go here because they have the best vegan food and like I said the what I eat in a day is on my other YouTube channel the conscious root YouTube channel and I talk about everything that I ate during this weekend. So here's a little clip, but that's pretty much what we did in Woodstock. It was great. Hey y'all, as you can see, it is really dark now. I have all the lights on because it's pretty much uh, nighttime outside, even though it is not even five o'clock yet. It's just about to turn five o'clock, but I just wanted to jump on and tell you a little bit of what you saw. We weren't able to do any of the hikes that we wanted to do initially because 
it was just too slippery it wasn't recommended so we didn't end up doing that but instead we took a scenic drive which you saw shots of that it was super super pretty and then we also didn't realize that the getaway that we're staying at this time this getaway wasn't the one that I initially booked we had been rescheduled to this particular location because there was renovations going on at the one that I booked and so I didn't realize that it is much further from Woodstock than what I initially thought. So we ended up driving about double the amount of time to reach Woodstock. So that messed up with time a little bit, but that's okay. We still had a great time at Woodstock. Ian is now lighting the fire. I think the fire is already lit. It looks like the fire is already lit. So I'm going to go sit outside and enjoy the fire. I wanted to show you before I go outside a painting that I did. I actually did this painting last night and I completely forgot to tell you, but this is my little watercolor. It is a pumpkin. I don't know if that's obvious. It's just, it's not the best. I tried to do it from an angle that I had in my phone, a picture that I had in my phone, but yeah, it's a little pumpkin and I like it. It's all right. And I might paint some more later. Like I said, we read last night. We read this, Misery, Stephen King. I think we read about seven chapters together. So Ian was reading and I just sat and listened to him. And I think we might do some more of that later on today too, but Let's go sit by the fire. Hi again, it's voiceover Sarah just sharing a painting that I did that night. I was really proud of this one. It's just a scene of those Catskill Mountains that I love. And then, of course, Ian read some more to me from Misery by Stephen King. It's getting really good, by the way. And then this is the next morning after we played games and hung out over the nighttime. And it's just me saying goodbye to the cabin. All right, friends, we are heading out, saying goodbye to our tiny little cabin. I just wanted to come out and say bye while we're still here so I can capture some footage of the actual place, you know, for memory's sake and for you guys to see. Uh, there's that infamous window over there, but it was a really great time. And it's actually raining slash snowing right now, so we're going to head out so we don't get caught up in the weather and hopefully it doesn't snow too crazy, but yeah, it was a lot of fun. Very, very relaxing, good time. Kind of sad that it's already over, but that's how it is with these getaway cabins. We only come here for a weekend, but yeah, let me, let me stop rambling and get on with it. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.